when you think of handheld gaming in 2023, Nintendo Switch and Steam Deck come to mind. So let's compare the two consoles. I'm going to be using Witcher 3 as the benchmarking game. I know some might say this isn't really a fair comparison, but I think it's interesting to see how much better the Steam Deck is in graphics, while in a few other instances, the Nintendo Switch still shines as the better handheld experience. The Witcher 3 comes in at 31.4 gigabytes on the Switch and about 58 gigabytes on the Steam Deck. In terms of loading times, the Steam Deck has a huge advantage here. Loading into the game on the Steam Deck takes about 30 seconds versus the Nintendo Switch, which takes over a minute and a half. Fast travel is also much faster on Steam Deck. Only 7 seconds in this test versus the 22 seconds from the Nintendo Switch. Now let's talk about battery life, an area where the Nintendo Switch is still much better. A test I did back in 2019 shows Witcher 3 getting about 3 hours on the Switch Lite and 3 hours and 45 minutes on the standard Switch. That's of course at maximum brightness and maximum sound. You can turn down the brightness and get even more battery life. On the Switch OLED, you're going to get about 4 hours at max brightness and sound. The Steam Deck's battery life is a a lot worse. With the brightness maxed out and the GPU working to its limits, you'll be lucky to get an hour and a half of playtime. Now to make it fair, I did turn down the settings on the Steam Deck to the lowest. I lowered the resolution to 720p and I even locked the frame rate to 30 FPS. I also did a bit of tweaking on the Steam Deck side. Even with these lower settings, the load on the GPU is still over 80%. You'll, you'll gain maybe another 15 minutes of battery life, but it's not really much of a difference. Of course, with these lower settings, the Steam Deck version still looks a lot better than the Nintendo Switch Witcher 3. Now for the rest of the video, I show graphics comparison and FPS tests. I'm showing both handheld off-screen footage as well as comparisons in docked mode. The dock I used here was a third-party dock. The link to that is in the description below. In the off-screen footage, the Steam Deck is at high graphics setting preset and the resolution is of course a native 800p. In dock mode, I did bump the Steam Deck resolution up to 1080p. And to compensate for the lower frame rate, I actually lowered the graphics to medium preset. As expected, the Steam Deck is of course the clear winner when it comes to the visuals, but let me know what you think. I will say though that the game is more stable on Nintendo Switch. I did get a lot of freezing and crashing while playing it on Steam Deck.
last words. Toussaint, the land of love and life. Exactly how I remembered it. You would find Beauclair has changed some these past years. Walk about when you have the chance. You will see for yourself. To me, place always seemed straight out of a fairy tale. Knights errant, elven palaces. You insinuate that we are somehow odd? I shall prove you wrong. This I pledge on the Heron. Get used to the way you knights talk, especially how you switch back and forth between flowery and, well, near normal. We are knights errant, in the service of her gracious magnificence. When we appear in her name or speak on her behalf, we are bound by tradition. I'm here. They must have removed the body already. I will fail you all! Oh my name is not! Vincent the Pirate Pirate! 